It's very fitting yeah. for Tim. He loves like a prom queen with like an axe in her yeah. ass. Beetlejuice without a question. Try bringing Jesus into that. <laughs> you could raise all the dead. <laughs> Jenna and Winona, this is a casting, it just makes sense. It makes sense on yeah. so many levels. Um, when did you guys know that you had something special together on set? Because despite their differences, they can be... <laughs> 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 yeah. Because despite their differences, they can be very beautiful mirrors of one another, so... Yeah, well, it was I mean, the model day. It was the model day. Yeah. Yeah. We just, it was just the first opportunity we really had to yeah. talk. It felt like yeah. everything else had just been, oh, I know. So, it'll be so great. I know, I know. It was, yeah. Yeah, aside from s the school. We hadn't like, shot anything. Yeah, we hadn't, that, well, that, yeah, was that first. It was only the was arguing like, outside the school right. that we had done. Yeah. yeah, so it was pretty, pretty quickly on. We did we have a nice time at, at Tim's, though, the first time we Yeah, 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 yeah. We met at Tim's. After we had read the script, then we found out that it was each other. Yeah. That was good too. Amazing. Yeah. And what was it like, kind of, because I know Tim's sets are so practical, seeing the model again for the first time? Oh, <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I cried. Oh yes. my God, I, I was crying so emotional through this whole movie. Yeah, you and Tim movie. both in that attic. I know. Wow. And I was like, there's a shot where you see a shadow. I remember I got like really obsessed with the shadow yeah. from the first, there's like a, a shot of me in the first one, and I remember like one of the Cocteau twins like <laughs> said, mentioned it in interviews, and I was like, oh, "Why? What is it about the shadow?" It, it's I like turn, and it's like a little bulb, like makes a shadow, like it looks like a black tear. Oh! And I was like, "The Cocteau twins." <laughs> and I, so I was like, "We have to recreate that shot." And did you? And we did, but you you only see it at the end credits. Oh, amazing. wow! I'm gonna look for it. Now. I know. I had no idea. Of I know. Well, obviously, it's been 36 years, a long yeah. time, and I know that it's kind of been on and off for a while. And Tim felt very protective over this film and these characters. Mm -hmm. So, what about this version and this script excite you the most? It's exactly like the first one, but not. Yes. And 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 I tell everyone this. I I, I love the first one. Love, love, love. This is actually better. Yeah. yeah. I came out the same way. I was. Yeah. I had. I mean, I loved the first one. That yeah. is pure nostalgia for me. But um, it's really it's something special. Yeah, it's it hard is. to make a sequel. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So, take you back. Do you remember the first time you watched the movie? I do. I do. Did you have imagined being in the sequel? No. No. <laughs> no I couldn't. Uh, no, of course not. Because it felt like so specific. Uh, a sequel didn't make sense at the time. You know, Tim's really the guy to talk about it, but. Yeah, he, he was really energized and uh, he was, uh, this wasn't just a return to material, this was uh, visiting something he loves mm -hmm. further down the line, that's all. Yeah. I think it's very, um, you know, the kind of sincere attempt yeah. to yeah. Uh, revisit that mm -hmm. material. Well, 36 years, he wanted to get it right. Yeah, he yeah, it's it true, right. it's true. It's a huge cast to join. Uh, mm -hmm. How did it feel stepping on set that first day, along with Jenna as well? Oof. I mean, one of the first things we shot together was him blowing his guts all over me. Um, <laughs> so that was your first day at work. Dear yeah. mom, Hollywood's great. Um, uh, things are Some going well. Some me. guy barfed on me and then he kicked a baby <laughs> into my face. Um, no, it was, it was fabulous. You know, I mean, I, I've said this before, but Tim creates probably 98% of the world already before you even land on set. So, um, and then watching these guys go off like fireworks is, brings you to 99.5, and so then I just bring five, uh, point five. Um, and so it was intimidating, but at the same time, completely exhilarating, yeah. you know, sort of the run up to getting to set was sort of the click, click, click up the roller coaster, and then the rest was just. Yeah. You're both fighting to be Winona's husband in the yeah. movie. Mm, yeah. And I she think likes it's... me more than that. Mm, yeah, well, okay, so we got some fighting going on. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say, who do you think is more husband material if you had Beetle to Beetlejuice, juice, without a f***ing question. Yes. Rory's not yeah. husband material to Ask anybody. Ask her, she'll tell you she's a, she a giant secretly wants to marry red me. flag. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, you ladies, you've been in some incredible roles throughout your career, might I say. Um, if you could pick one previous character to come into the Beetlejuice world for a day, who would you love to see? Ooh, good question. That's a pretty good question. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, 
Try bringing Jesus into the <laughs> Beetlejuice world. He could raise all the dead. <laughs> that's a movie. See. That's three. I'm here, right. <laughs> Someone pitch that, please. I want to see that. God, Batman. Cool. Yeah. No, oh, know. yeah. That I would, would I would want to bring Batman into this world. Yeah. Somehow I think it would work. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... know how, but it would be maybe if Batman got killed and he's in the other yeah. life. Yeah. Just have him as a severed <laughs> yeah. torso or he, Robin. Well, he's a little, he's a little, he's a little uh, um, bruised. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bruce bruised. And he, I don't think he'd flinch. I, I think he'd come in and go, cool. <laughs> I think he'd fit right in there. Yeah. yeah. Any of the any of the characters from, from Multiplicity would struggle. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Number four. I uh, know. Uh, the really sensitive guy in, in Multiplicity. Okay. Yeah. I'd love to see him in the Beetlejuice world. Okay. He'd try to reason with him. <laughs> and Beetlejuice would not be having any yeah. of it. He'd, he'd like... give him a lot of uh, <laughs> yeah, totally. psycho babble. Hey, let's talk. I did a sketch comedy show years ago, and I did this kind of Vegas performance. Yeah. <laughs> She goes to mind like the afterlife. She finally fit in somewhere. Perfect. <laughs> Michael said Batman. Did he really? Yeah. really? Yeah. Isn't that great? I see that. I see that. I would say also your character in the Taste music video, she would not be having <gasps> any of it. I She'd be like, that. That was that was No, but that well because that was inspired by Death Becomes So yes. that actually would it's very fitting yeah. for Tim. He loves like a prom queen with like an axe in her yeah. ass, yeah. something like that. That would be a good one. Yeah, the yeah. film references in that music video. Chef's kiss. Oh, yeah, we were we had a no. good time on that one. Yeah. Uh, maybe Seamus O'Grady from Charlie's I was Angels too. Yeah. That could be kind of good. I think they're sort of in a similar cartoony kind of. I see thing. that. That'd be I great. see that. Yeah. I'd like to see them go up against each other. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a cinematic world that each of your co-stars has been in that you would love to go inside? Oh well, I mean, what, what would I not? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Best in show. Best in show. Oh, Creek. Okay. Waiting, waiting for God. Yeah, did you actually yeah. want to live in those worlds? Oh. Yeah, I would have. I'm, I oh, would yeah. have. So, you guys are <laughs> hilarious. That would have been incredible. <laughs> I know. I we were making the, the alien movie. The alien. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. came yeah. out, and oh, we yeah. drove every night to to Santa Monica to watch it, and we. It, like the, uh, the whole cast, Sigourney, and we, we all, out. and we were like, is this a comedy or a tragedy? Is this <laughs> our lives? Anyone who's done regional theater? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's I love that you say our lives, because so many people would say, oh, I know people like that, that's it, but not you. <laughs> Oh, not you. You don't want to live in that world, though. It's more fun to just were, go see the movie. Yeah, I there think. were brownies involved, but but um, oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Like, that, 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 that was when it was like tragic. Oh, that's good. Yeah. We were like, whoa. Yeah, and then I was gonna there say, was we couldn't yeah, breathe. Innocence. So beautiful. The period. Everything. For the period. Yeah. Oh, for the clothes. Age of, oh, Age of Innocence. Mad on Earth. You know, <laughs> you know how I feel about that one. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, great. I want to meet Quirky. Quirky. Obviously, Danny DeVito is in this movie. And Not the, obviously. I mean, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> well, to me, it was very obvious. Yeah. Um, I love him. What was that like? Did you get to spend it? I didn't time? know he was in it. You didn't know? No, no, no. See, like, I don't see a lot of these guys. And then when I, so I get to see it as a viewer. You know, I shoot certain things. And I didn't know what a lot of these guys were doing. So it's a treat. I'm going, oh, man, that's great. So I, I saw the back of him and I went, Kind of looks like Davido, and I go, "Oh my God, this is great!" So I didn't know he had done it. Oh wow! No way. Yeah, Catherine, you've been known to be part of some very iconic families in your career. <laughs> what is it about these kind of oddball, dynamic families that you're like really drawn to? I love being in a happy, creative gang. Yeah, yeah. It's just group scenes, any scenes, group scenes, groups together. I love doing yes. interviews together. Yesterday, when we were all together for that panel, oh. it's just fun. I don't know. I'm not afraid to be alone. I love mm. to be alone. <laughs> but there's it's just so great to feed off of each other, you yeah. know, creatively. And yeah. and mothers are very important roles in life. Yeah. You know, it can be so sadly bad or so wonderful and inspiring. So, you know, yeah. uh, there's a never ending wealth it's, of material there. It's actually so nice to hear you say that because I, you hear so much in the industry like, then you become the mom. Like, you yeah. know, oh, like, no, there like, are a lot of boring yeah. mom roles. And, and, uh, <sighs> I, I went through that, and yeah. and but they're actually like just their characters, just like all the other characters. But you're so like 
You're no, but they should be written more interestingly. They, they should they're, be. Sorry, they're written by a lot of guys who didn't pay attention to their moms. Yeah. Or idolize their moms. It. Say it. Or <laughs> idolize their moms and couldn't see their flaws to make them, you know, more interesting right. characters. So they're either or, just, oh, they're, honey, you look wonderful. Or where are you going now? Yeah. You know, they're just, just in the yeah. in the bed with their slippers. <laughs> Wake up. You can, like, I mean, <laughs> but you get so, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's what the... That's how it works, and then yeah. you're the mom, and then who, then you're baby Jane, and then you're yeah. Wells of August. But you I know, know. You, as, you two escaped as the friend of the lead. Oh! Oh, and when you're in comedy, before you get to be the mom, <laughs> you get the friend of the lead, like, you're looking good. What's his name? <laughs> oh, help me. But, I mean, that's what I love about Tim's world and Tim's world building so much is, um, I think especially for people who maybe felt strange or unusual growing up, yeah. Yeah. they could feel so seen and really connect with these characters. So I'd love to know what it means to you guys to be a part of worlds like this, who are filled with so much detail and care for every character. It's so beautiful. It's, <laughs> it's such a beautiful thing to be a part of. And it's, it's you really feel, pro Tim's really protective of his characters. Yeah. I mean, Wednesday, yeah. it's like, you know, yeah. I mean, I remember him talking ab about it and how, you know, and, it, you know, it, Lydia and Delia, like, he's just even really, Delia. really, <laughs> even <laughs> Delia. Um, but you, you, you just feel he, he's really protective and he really loves you know, he really loves his characters and you yeah. can feel it. It does. So yeah. It's really special. And he cares for, I'm sorry, he cares for people who feel that way. Yeah. And it's pretty much everyone. If yeah. you don't feel that way, something's wrong with you. He's so collaborative, <laughs> so trusting, and um, he definitely, uh, I mean, there's very rare that there was a day on the set or there's even been a day on Wednesday when I'm with him where, you know, I don't want to forget whatever it, conversation yeah. we had that day uh, about yeah. the way we were going to shoot something or the conversations that we have. It just, you could tell as you're doing it, it's very special. Yeah. It's very special. So often he's dealing with, you know, uh, a death and people mm -hmm. that are outsiders and people that are misunderstood. Lots of things that give people a lot of pain, but he does it in such a compassionate and joyous and kind of playful way that that's part of the attraction of his his films and his aesthetic. Like, nobody gets a pass on this. Everybody yeah. kind of gets made fun of a little bit. And on that, I think Tim's well building, I think, you know, for people growing up who maybe felt strange or unusual, clearly, could feel clearly. so seen. He's like the guy that drew these things, you know, these beautiful little drawings, you know, and he lived in that world, and then that world blossomed, and, uh, yeah. Now it is a world. One of the roles that you played, Green Goblin, terrified yes. me growing up. Okay. It horrified me. All right, and, sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. I forgive there was you. a pleasure to that, right? <laughs> there uh, was a pleasure. I loved the movies. Good. Um, but was there a character who terrified you growing up? I remember uh, when I when I saw when I was a kid. I think it was a movie called Carnival of Souls or something. That was so scary that you know my sister said one of my sisters said. You've got to watch it in a mirror. Because you can't look. Because it, it was too direct to watch it, oh, you know. God. Okay. Directly. Should I add it to my watch list or? I think it's called Carnival of Souls. Okay. But then also, yeah. Okay. There, when I when I was a kid, I watched a lot of horror movies. 